I'm going to explain in a lot of detail what happens when you log in for the first time to Cloud Edition. I'm going to use Linux, but the interface is sadly the same on Mac and Windows, so we're good to go here. So the first thing you see is this screen where you see like a welcome and then you can log in to, to PlasticSCN.com, which is uh, the same login you use for Cloud Edition, or you can sign up. The good thing is that you can directly sign up from here and create an account, or you can just log in. In my case, since I already have an account, a test account I'm using for the videos, I'll just log in. So at start.org and okay, so I hit login. And then the next step is that it uh, the system checks if I already belong to an organization, otherwise I'll have the chance to create a new organization. But in this case, uh, all I have to do is to simply join, right? So uh, if I had more than one, which is also an option, uh, I'll have a, like a combo here to select the, the one I want. In this case, I just belong to one, which is probably the regular case for most of you. So I'll just uh, join. Okay, the, ne the, the last step is uh, once I, um, I already joined the organization, is uh, to select the tool you want to launch. Uh, do you want to launch the GUI for developers, which is what we normally call plastic, or you, you can run the GUI for artists. I'm going to record, uh, actually, and share with you the two options. I'll, I'll first launch the GUI for developers, and then I'll, I'll come back later and launch the GUI for artists, or uh, as we know it, Gluon. So I'll click here. Now we enter the Welcome to Cloud Edition dialog. And we have only two options, whether you want to work centralized or distributed. If it's not very clear for you what distributed means, just stick to centralized. Centralized means you're going to check in directly to your cloud repository. In my case, I only have one, but here would be the place to, you know, list any other available uh, repositories you will have in your organization, in your cloud organization. And then it creates a name for the workspace which you can change, for instance, in my case, I can do something like that, like quick WK and a location on disk. This is the easiest way of working. This is just, you have a local copy, you check in, it goes to the repository. This is what many artists are going to use and also many developers. This is the perforce way of working or the subversion way of working. There's no local repository, it's not like it. Then we go to the other option. The other option is working distributed. To work distributed, you need a local repository. So you will go and select a repo and then Plastic in this dialog will create, uh, as soon as I click create, right? A local repo for you. So you have the cloud repo, which is Quake at Plastic Robots at Cloud. You, all, you will also have a local repository, Quake at Local, and then a workspace for it. Of course, you can tune the names. In my case, I could use something like Quake and Quake Local, and then you will use this repo to work locally, to check in locally, and when you're done with your changes, you can push them to the cloud and also pull changes made by other colleagues or the team members in the cloud. This will be the Git way of working. Now we'll get back to where I left be before, and I'll launch uh, Gluon instead of launching the the plastic GUI for developers, right? So this is like the GUI we normally recommend for people not working with code, but more working on documents or artists in game, in game development and so on. So launch Gluon. And then we go to the initial screen. And again, it's quite simple. All you can do here, I mean, unlike in, in plastic for developers, you only have one option, which is whether you choose an existing repo so you can choose one of the existing ones in the project you are joining or suppose everything was empty you can go and create a new one so you will enter like the name of a new repo here new whoops repo click create new repo will be created and okay you have your new repo at plastic robots are cloud in my case this is the organization name and this is just at cloud always like that and then it proposes you like allocation with uh, allocation with the same name as the repo but again you can change this. You can change it like uh, VK new or whatever. And then if you hit OK, you will start. And that's basically how these two uh, steps, th th this new, uh, this these first steps work in plastic and gluon. So hope you get a better understanding now of all the details. Thank you.